so let's begin guys today I'm going to talk about ASAP methodology ASAP methodology how ASAP methodology works and what does ASAP methodology do okay. the presentation which I'm going to talk to you about today in fact several years back I created this presentation for one of our client and uh, so this ASAP methodology ASAP also stands for accelerated SAP implementation is a very commonly used methodology for uh, SAP implementations. We have talked about uh, several other methodologies uh, as you might have seen uh, in our course but um, this is also having a similar software development life cycle similar software development life cycle this ASAP methodology came in the late 1990s SAP had a lot of these uh, projects a lot of problems and then they came with this methodology called ASAP and uh, this ASAP methodology came for that purpose okay. how we can do ASAP methodology what are the different roles what are the different responsibility what are the different work process roles involved in work process remember when we are doing a SAP implementation like SAP for example there are many many bunch of people which get involved there are different type of people which get involved and that is important many 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 people getting involved many different type of people okay. there are primary roles there are secondary roles specifically implementations like SAP are a big bus implementation many many dozen people get involved many many different type of people get involved and because of that SAP implementations require different 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 type of people in SAP different type of SAP that happens application development lead application support lead business process leads project manager project sponsors steering committee and there are many more roles which get involved in developing SAP software you are one of them there's the people who are taking care of training application development lead means the lead of the programming team application support means the support team 
business process analyst means people like you project managers the overall person who is managing day to day project managing project sponsor means a senior resource senior people in the company who is basically managing the whole project who is who is responsible for this project that is called training uh, is um, project sponsor what is asap asap sap come up sap came with the uh, sap methodology or asap methodology um, it is stand for accelerated sap so asap um, the meaning of that is accelerated sap primarily primarily asap is a methodology is a road map in the in late 1990s there used to be a lot of confusion lot of problems people didn't know how to implement sap what does it goes into the implementation process blah 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 this that so people has no clue and implementation used to be very very confusing and very very problematic then sap came with this methodology as a guidelines to the people that if you are doing sap implementation then how should that sap implementation be done that is where sap implementation came into the picture okay. but apart from methodology is it is all it, it it also provide toolkit is also provide a toolkit it also provides you so when is when i say toolkit so for example i will give you like uh, yesterday i was showing you a uh, business blueprint i was showing you questionnaires now when we started sap many years back we have no idea how the questionnaire should look like i showed you one example yesterday because i have seen that but earlier we had no idea so toolkit also provides us all these different examples how the project uh, uh, how the project plan should look like yesterday i was showing you some process flow diagram we had no idea how the process flow diagram should look like so asap will provide you that uh, that process flow diagrams asap would provide you um uh, asap will also provide you and very strong methodology and tools and examples so people can see service and support basically means once we have gone live asap also provides an approach once you have gone live then how to support it how that support going to work it also provide it also provide an example of a training it also provide an example of a training how the training should be conducted if you have to train the people how the training document look like like yesterday i was i, I have shown you that bpp example business process procedure remember in asap they will give an example of bpp because when we started in uh, several years back i have we had no idea that what is bpp how the bpp look like so we'll go to asap methodology and we'll see an example 
we can see the format we can see the template and then we can use that uh, uh, template and format and we can utilize that so that is what accelerated SAP does Now talk about interaction with the various work process. So you will see here work process number one, work process number two, work process number three, work process number four, work process number, work process number nine. Okay. So these are different work processes. So we have different work processes. Now let us understand those work processes. What does those work processes basically mean? Now if you see here, and this is the larger picture, understand that. And we talked about this before in some other methodologies as well. See here, work process number one. Work process for number one Somewhere there is an IT strategy, enterprise architecture. If somebody is doing SAP implementation, if somebody start doing SAP, pay attention. Now, a lot of, especially something like SAP cost you a lot of money, millions of dollars. So many people get involved, it's a big bus load of people. Then why company do that implementation? What happens? What is behind it? What is the reason? <clears throat> Give me a second guys, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Yes, this is the lip. Very well. Job opportunity for what? For which thing? Um, you guys cannot afford. You guys cannot afford me. That's a problem. I take minimum two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars per hour. 200 hours, $200 per hour, non-negotiable plus expenses. That's correct. My last rate was $349. So I'm charging actually half. Absolutely, no problem. Hello? I'm back. So, somebody working on IT strategy, somebody working on enterprise architecture and deciding that why do we need SAP? What is wrong with our current application? Why and how this current application does not work? So, we need a new application. And then business case. We talked about this before. If I'm going to invest $20 million or $10 million or $50 million or any million dollar or any amount, there must be ROI, return on investment. Whether SAP or any IT project for that matter does not get started unless, unless, unless there is, there is explicit reason. For, for that uh, unless there is a ROI unless we can get that money back if you cannot then you cannot 
get that project off the ground. That project will never happen. Ever. Now when we talk about, once you have done IT strategy, when we have the work process 1, when we have done the work process 2, the next point is working into 5S and 6S process. 5S and 6S process. What is that? Project preparation, blueprinting, realization, final prep, go live and support. This is a classical software development life cycle. That is SDLC. That is what we discussed before. And that is what we are discussing now. In which you have project prep, business blueprint, realization, final prep, go live and support. Then you work process 3 in which we are talking about project plan, how the project plan should look like, how do you capture the business requirement, Then we have a work process 4 which talks about change management. Change management. Pay attention to this word. Change management. Change management basically means that when we are looking at SAP implementation one thing which happened pretty often one thing which always happened one thing which is always an issue change management. You guys will not understand today that in most SAP implementation how much of a problem this change management is. This change management is basically is basically Identifying that when we are going to implement this SAP or any other ERP or any other IT solution, then what is the impact on the organization? Is it going to change any kind of a business processes? Is it going to change any kind of a role responsibility? Is it going to change any kind of organization hierarchy? Because those changes has overreaching impacts on the organizational behavior. And that is very, very important. That is what we need to understand. Work process 9. How are you going to support it after you go live? These are the five phases. Project prep, blueprint, realization, final prep, go live and support. Make a note of these five phases. Using ASAP methodology, these are the five phases of the software development life cycle. Please make a note. This question can be asked you during actual interview. Tell us methodology and what are the different phases of methodology. You can tell that. Okay, we use ASAP. And these are the five phases of the ASAP methodology.
make a note project prep business blueprint realization final prep go live and support project prep project prep is the initial phase of implementation life cycle what do we do and first and foremost we do the project kickoff project kickoff is a formal activity project kickoff is an activity in which we basically start the project and then we do various other activities defining project scope schedule budget resources developing team training plan realize role responsibility project kickoff meeting identify technical resources so it is basically initial planning budgeting scheduling resource planning resource hierarchy different working on different project procedures means if i'm going to do this project what are the different documents i'm going to use how i'm going to do business blueprint how i'm going to do training how i'm going to test it you define all those set of activities during project preparation in the project preparation we have we do different activities but some of the important deliverables 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 make a note of these seven point which i highlighted make a note of these seven points which i have highlighted quickly Okay, what do we do to deliver in project preparation? First and foremost, implementation strategy. Implementation strategy means how I'm going to implement. First, I will do US, I'm going to do Canada, then I'm going to do Mexico, then I will do Europe, then I will do Asia. Implementation strategy. Project management guidelines. How many meetings I'm going to do? How many times I will meet with the steering committee? Program procedures and standards, which basically means if I'm doing a project plan, how it's going to look like.
how it's going to look like. Project organization. People create an organization hierarchy in which we have a project manager, project manager is the leads, leads are this papers, this person and this person. We have an entire structure, entire hierarchy. We do that. We work on it. That is an example of project organization. Hardware, software, strategy. What kind of hardware are we going to use? How many laptops we need? What server we need? When do we need with this server? How the server is going to look like? What are the configurations of it? How are we going to manage the data? Because ultimately at the time of go live, we have to take the data from the current system, put into SAP system, data management. How are we going to do testing? Are we going to do unit tests? Are we going to do integration tests? How are we going to look like test cycle? Are we going, are we going to use some testing cycle? And that is all part of testing strategy. It's all part of Testing strategy. The next phase is business blueprinting. Business blueprinting. Business blueprinting. In the business blueprinting, we take care of various aspects of gathering requirement, document business requirement, In the business blueprint, and these are different activities, but ultimately in business blueprinting we are doing what? In business blueprint, we gather business requirement, we document business requirement, and we validate those business requirements. Those are the three things we do during business blueprinting. We, we do the business blueprinting of different areas. We also identify change management risks. We identify how we are going to do training. We develop a business blueprint document. I showed you an example yesterday for one process. We do a business process documentation. Feature state map. How the feature state process is going to look like. That is all part of the business blueprinting. As we talked and which we discussed before, Business blueprint, business process workshop, and a business process workshop is very commonly used method of get, gathering business requirement where we have more than one person involved in a more than one person involved And uh, most of the SAV project, for example, where we have a multitude of the people, in, in such situation, in such environment, we always have a different set of people 
which get involved into the whole process. So we are business process workshops. The next one is a realization. Realization phase. Realization phase. Realization phase where we are building the solution. We got the business requirement. We document. Are you speaking? Yes. Sorry, I was speaking to mute. Can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me now? Okay. Okay, good. So we're talking about realization phase. In the realization phase, we talked about realizing the solution. Building the solution, configuring the solution, testing the solution and making sure the solution is ready to go live. Ready to go live. We develop the entire solution which is ready to live. What are the main deliverables of the realization phase? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make a note of these 6 blood points please, quickly. main deliverables of the realization phase main deliverables so the first and foremost configured and tested system update business blueprint documents so during realization phase we find out there are certain business processes with certain requirements which is not right, we update them. We customize the document. So we create a customization document. So whatever you customize, you create a document for that also. Integration test. Integration test basically means, as I showed you an example yesterday, creating an end-to-end -end testing. Development specification and programs, test plan and documentation, test plan and documentation. The next phase is final preparation. Now we got a solution. We tested it. It meet our requirement. Now we do final prep. Now we do final prep.
now we do final prep Now in the final prep, we do what? In the final prep, there are a couple of important things which happens. One and first and foremost, we do end user training. So the training to the end users, we do in final prep. Managing the system, detailed project plan, cutover. We do those in final prep. Okay. These are some of uh, important deliverables of final prep. Please make a note. Please make a note. Okay. End user training and documentation. Cutover plan. Cutover plan basically means how we will move from current system to the feature system. What are the activity we are going to do? How are we going to do the training? Classroom training, online training, how many classrooms, which system, what are the training documentation, how many people going to attend, there is a whole planning of the training. System management, how are I going to manage the system going forward during implementation. Service level agreement that basically means if you have a level 1 ticket, level 2 ticket, uh, level 3 tickets, if there is an issue which is stopping my production should be solved within 2 hours. So we need such agreements and commitments.
सर्विस लेवल एग्रीमेंट टॉकिंग अबाउट गो लाइव एंड सपोर्ट गो लाइव एंड सपोर्ट आफ्टर डू द कट ओवर एक्टिविटी आफ्टर एवरीथिंग लुक्स फाइन वी डू गो लाइव एंड सपोर्ट वी डू गो लाइव एंड सपोर्ट and then project ends main deliverables make a note of these four points please make a note of these four points please optimization report measurement and evaluation report lesson learned report knowledge transfer they are all part of go live and support Let's understand that optimization basically means how it is going to optimize, make my processes better. How we can do measurement and evaluation report? How we can do lesson learned? How we can do knowledge transfer? knowledge transfer basically means implementation team and the support team sometime could be two different team and that is an example of knowledge transfer that is how we do the knowledge transfer once we have gone live we have to measure that making sure that our objective of implementation are met making sure the region for which we did sap implementation those regions are suffice those regions are still valid those regions those pain points those issues being resolved or not so that is what we discuss and that is what we determine after go live change agents change agents are the people who were part of the project implementation those are the change agents post sub post production support plan 
Now, once we have go live, that's good. But going live and not having a plan after go live is a story which is not completed. And that's where the post implementation plan come into the picture. Post implementation plan tells me that who is going to do the implementation? What is the approach for the implementation? Who will be doing the implementation? Etc. And that is all part of post implementation support. That is what we do in post implementation support. And the whole idea of the post implementation support is a smooth transition to operations and clear exists for the implementation team. Sometimes support team and implementation team are two different teams. Making sure that we have a correct and a smooth transition from the implementation team to the support team. So there is no issues. That is example of a post implementation support. Summary. This was our ASAP methodology, different phases, different activities which we do in this. Thank you for your participation. This was our last PDF and this was the end of the business analyst course so thank you so much and uh, thank you for participation in this course take care bye guys